Bald eagles flock to Worcester County for the same reason our human visitors do. Our coastal bays and marshes, our bald cypress swamps along the Pocomoke River, and our forests and fields. Over the past 40 years, bald eagles have made an amazing comeback thanks to federal protection and countless government agencies and conservation organizations working together to save this once endangered species. Today, we benefit from a thriving bald eagle population by inviting visitors to view our beautiful national bird in the wilds of Worcester County. So to learn more about bald eagles, we are joined by Megan Sachowski from Astig State Park. Hi, Megan. Hi. And the first question I've got is you spend a lot of time outdoors, and I know you like to bird in Worcester County in your free time. What are some of our best locations in Worcester County for seeing bald eagles? Well, here in Worcester County, we often see them right here at Assateague State Park. Mm -hmm. A lot of times in this area on the mainland, we see them flying overhead, especially in the winter. But you can also see them out on the island, um, which is a really unique experience to be able to see a bald eagle sitting on the beach. And um, we have Pocomoke River State Park, which is down by Snow Hill. And you can see them at both areas of the park, at Shad Landing, at Milburn Landing. And in Milburn Landing, they actually have a winter program there called their Eagle Watch. Awesome. And they have expanded it. It's really, really great. Um, they have onshore activities. You get to actually see a live bald eagle, which is part of our Scales and Tails program. Very cool. And you get to go on a boat ride to go up and down the river and see them in their roosting spots. Megan, give us some basic tips for viewing bald eagles. What should we be looking for? Okay, so when you're looking for bald eagles, you're looking for a large, dark-colored mm -hmm. bird. Um, there's a difference between mature and immature. The mature birds have your typical white head, your dark body, and white tail. But the immature actually look like they're mottled. So they have the brown, but they have white feathers throughout and oftentimes they're confused with other local raptors mm -hmm. and birds of prey so you might be seeing turkey vultures black vultures and osprey are the most common birds that get confused with them the easiest way to tell the difference large dark bird but also that its wings are completely flat they kind of spread out like a board oh, so up in the sky and look at them you see flat wings that's an eagle correct cool um, the other birds, typically your vultures are going to fly with your, their wings slightly upturned, so it's in the shape of a V. V for vulture. Very good. And your ospreys kind of look like an M um, as they're flying through the sky. All right, so Vs and Ms, those are good tips. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about bald eagle behavior and kind of the things they do throughout the year. Okay, well this time of year we've already kind of moved into mating season and courtship begins by them flying in pairs oftentimes. Um, sometimes you'll actually see them cartwheeling, locking talons and spiraling down to the earth and releasing right before they hit the earth. Wow. Um, it's quite an amazing behavior and that might happen between males and females but it also might happen between two males that are being territorial or, or protective of another female. They'll also fly together in pairs. You might see them kind of diving at one another. They'll sit in trees together and preen one another, pick at their feathers. Mm -hmm. So this this time of year they've, they've built their nest or they've um, they're starting to build their nest and they will build nests that are huge on average anywhere between three to five feet wow. but because these birds come back to the same spot every year um, their nests grow every year and they say upwards of nine feet in diameter and can weigh as much as a Volkswagen bug. Wow and where would they build their nest? Um, along coastlines typically mm -hmm. um, because the hunting would be good there and the majority of the time they're up in trees though sometimes they can be on the ground or on on cliff faces mm -hmm. megan with all the time you spent out watching eagles what's one of your coolest experiences that you've seen well actually this winter was really amazing with all the ice flows in the back bays we actually got to see some eagles out on the ice a um, couple of different animals that they had taken as prey. Um, right here at Assateague, I actually watched one take a brant um, on the ice. Right What's under, a brant? A brant is a um, waterfowl. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of in between a duck and a goose size. And um, took it right out under the walking bridge between oh, the really mainland cool. and the, and the um, island. When you're out with the park visitors, what is their reaction when they see a bald eagle? Oh, they're completely amazed. Um, I can remember a time when we didn't see them. You know, their numbers had declined for, for such a long period. Um, but because of human efforts, banning DDT and things like that, um, their numbers have come back and they're really thriving in this area again. So it's an awesome experience for people to come out and be able to see our nation symbol flying over uh, the island. It really is. I've seen it myself. So I guess since we're talking about Worcester County, why is Worcester County so great for bald eagles? Oh, it's the perfect habitat. We've got the coastal bays, we've got all of the inland rivers that flow out to the Chesapeake Bay. So it's perfect um, area for them to nest and hunt and raise their young. And we've got great parks here too. 
Great. So, Megan, thank you very much. Thank that was you. great. Bald eagles are just one more reason to spend time exploring the outdoors in Worcester County. If you keep your eyes in the skies, there's a really good chance that you too will see a bald eagle when cycling, hiking, or boating Maryland's beach and beyond. <laughs>